Point Loma, coming off a loss in the first round of the NCAA West Regional, falling to Zeus Pacific 66 to 64. I'm with head coach Matt Logie, and on his left, Ian Anderson. Coach, could you just take me through your thoughts on this game out there? Yeah, well, um, you, know, you got to tip your hat to APU. Obviously, um, you know we've we've seen them throughout the year. Um, I thought they they came out in the first half and uh, were aggressive. Um, you know, forced us into some turnovers in the first half that were uncharacteristic, and um, you know had to had to you know scratch and claw to to get back. Um, but closing the half down two, you know, we, we felt good about that considering you know how poorly we had played and. Um, you know, made, made a nice run in the second half to, to, to get a lead um, and just couldn't, couldn't quite close the door, uh, make, you know, make a play here or there. And, uh, you know, we, we have a totally different feeling right now. But um, that's that's the game in the NCAA tournament. And, um, you know, it, it's on some levels, you know, it comes down to uh, making shots and missing shots. And uh, I think in the course of our three years here, we're – that's our second loss and with like 25 or six wins when we held the team below 70 points. So I was proud of our defensive effort. Um, you know, we just didn't get enough going offensively to uh, hit Pater. I think this was kind of one of those classic playoff type of games. You have to face a team for the third time. Let's be honest, you, you beat them the first two. What is the challenge on that one? You always hear that as kind of a, can be a challenge for coaches on those situations. Well, I mean, I think, um, you know, as a staff, you, you try to go through and anticipate Kind of go through the exercise of a, a pre-mortem. Um, you know, how would they, how would they beat you? Um, what would they do differently? Um, and quite honestly, we we anticipated exactly what they did. Um, we just didn't execute very well. Um, and so, obviously, that falls on on all of us. Um, but again, credit to them. They came out with a, a more aggressive um, game plan, and, and were able to, to to get some turnovers in the first half to. Keep us out of rhythm offensively. Caden, I got to just ask you a little bit. I know you are somebody that does not care about individual performances, anything like that at all, but a lot of people, you did turn a lot of heads with your 32 point performance tonight. What was going well for you? Is this an arena that you like shooting in? What happened for you tonight? Uh, I mean, I started off slow um, shooting wise, but uh, you know, I knew I just had the advantage down low. Um, and uh, I don't know. It was just. Yeah, I don't really have much to say. Coach Logie, last, I'll go with you and then I'll turn it over to anybody else. But a lot of times in the games like this one, you come down to the end, they'll have close games, but you don't see as many made shots as you saw in this one. I felt like in the last two minutes of the game, they made a couple threes. Caden made a big shot with like 20 seconds to go. Just talk to me about the way that, I guess the teams were able to execute down down the stretch to be able to get those ones when, you know, the teams are, it's been such a defensive game until that point. Yeah, I mean, um, that's what I said, you know, I, at some level, uh, it's a make or miss game, you know, and um, I thought we got some really good looks down the stretch, um, you know, and didn't, didn't quite convert, you know, up one, we get a steal, uh, don't convert, we foul them, they tie it, uh, Brock gets an open three in the corner, we don't make it, um, you know, but Brock's made huge shots for us all year long, um, in the entire course of his career thus far, so um, that's the way it goes. and. Um, you know, unfortunately for us, they hit, hit the big shot uh, on the next possession, and um, and that's the way it goes. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you, Katie.